let us come back and solve the 2009 paper <clears throat> so let us read the question first so first order reaction has a rate constant of so much okay let us write the given data what is given to us rate constant is given to us k right it uh, represented by k so this is your minute inverse this is a unit for first order rate next after that if we begin with so they've given us the initial concentration of R, the reactant the initial because why did i write this they've written it as as we begin with so the initial concentration of r given as 0 0.10 molar what concentration of the reactant will remain so the leftover that is a minus six nothing but r where r not this is r not initial so they want you to find out the r value that is a minus six value in the solution what is the time interval given to us after three hours this is what is given what should i find out i have to find out r let us write the formula for this particular thing so for the first order rate equation the formula given is k is equal to 2.303 by t log of r naught concentration by r yes now <clears throat> this particular thing your this is in minutes this is in hours so try to multiply with 60 so you get this also in minutes 180 minutes that this is over now start applying in this formula when you apply this what do you get you get k is equal to 2 point k values already given i have to find out your <coughs> r uh, value isn't it so k how much is k given 0 0.05 minute inverse is equal to 2.303 my time given is 180 minutes into log r naught. How much is r naught given? 0 0.1 molar okay, divided by r. I have to find this r. Yes. So to find this r, I have written this formula. Let us see how can I simplify this and write. Now, what do you do? You take this whole of log point, 0 0.1 by r on this side. Log 0 0.1 by concentration of r. So what will happen then? You want to cross multiply with this. This becomes 0 0.05 into 180 divided by your 2.303 value. Done? Yes. <clears throat> when uh, Once you solve uh, this uh, particular uh, value, you get an answer of 0 0.0398. So log of 0 0.1 by R is so much. Now what is 0.1 by R? This becomes anti log of 0 0.03980. When you solve this, you get an answer of 2.503. I didn't still didn't, didn't uh, get uh, the R value. So R is equal to I get an answer of 0 0.0399 molar because the concentration of this is measured in molar. So this is your sum. Yes, let us come back and do this uh, question of 2009. Yes, basically uh, almost you know all the chemistry, uh, chem chemical kinetics numericals are based on the tabulated column only. So let us read the question, do it carefully. The, almost all the numericals related. I have done a question on this also. Basically, uh, assuming the <coughs> coefficients is alpha and beta in one of the numericals of your uh, chem chemical kinetics, please go to the playlist where I have done one more numerical of the same sort, but let us do this numerical. Now, this is an experiment where uh, there is a combination of two reactants, right? Now, this is one more, uh, two moles and this is one mole and they form the product, NOCl, right? Right? All, uh, this is a gaseous reactant that is also gaseous. What do they do again? Let us see. They have given us or listed out four experimental data. Almost the same question but uh, maybe a small difference between that and this. They have given and four, uh, four experimental data with the initial concentration of NO and the initial concentrations of this one. Clear. And after that they have also given me a data where initial rate of disappearance. How much, what is the concentration when this particular reactant has disappeared. What do they want me to calculate? They want me to calculate the rate law. Okay, almost the same. After that, rate constant, done. I have to calculate the initial rate of disappearance of Cl in the experiment. Okay, so many things to prove. First, let us go step by step. 
the first thing here and one more thing is in this particular uh, question the time uh, they've given it as one minute okay that is right first divide into right four columns first important thing i have to expression for rate law done most of the questions will start with this question only a rate law expression then rate constant and if required half life also now i am going to write the first law first rate law when we are writing we very well know rate is equal to k into concentration of the reactant into concentration of the next reactant now no and cl2 remember one one important thing they have asked you to write the rate law but don't try to write the coefficients immediately because we are supposed to prove using this data the coefficients coefficient of no and coefficient of this i have to prove it and finally you'll come back to this only but i have to prove that but when you're writing general rate law take the coefficient of no as p and q any coefficient will do this is done i'll be getting this is your first one mark one mark and i have to solve the next i have to calculate rate constant so let us start first start your rate compare 1 and 2 then compare 1 and 3 okay 1 and 2 and then 1 and 3 let us start i'm starting with the first experiment rate okay let me write this as r1 for this r1 is equal to k into no <coughs> how much is no now here it is 0.15 P. what is cl 0.15 q correct yes r2 how much is kno 0.15 p how much is cl2 0.30 q simple right now what is this whole equal to your rate also is there isn't it how much is this value of r1 here it is it is your 0.6 for this and this is your point 0.4 yeah that no not point 0.4 it is how much is given to us k to 1.20 is given to you yes so let us write that 1.20 okay this is r1 this is r2 now r2 by r1 is equal to k 0.15 p 0.30 q divided by k 0.15 p and 0.15 q done now this value again yes i have tried this value also 1.20 by 0.6 correct what do i get now when i solve this <coughs> i get what do i get this and this gets cancelled out <coughs> so i can write this as this is your whole quantity so i can write as 2 raised per of q isn't it 15 to 0 right so 2 to the power of q now what do i get here i get twice right 2 raised to the power of 1 so what is q all well, basis are same so q is equal to 1 i got one answer right let me come back and solve the p part what am i going to take i'm going to take equate equation 1 and rate equation 3 r1 is equal to k into 0.15 and 0.15 how much is this now how much is the rate given to us here okay i'll write rate on this side this is 0 0.60 okay yes now <clears throat> after this let me pick up the, the, this is basically r1 i'm picking up r3 now so r3 k 0.3 and 0.15 how much is the rate given here it is 2.40 now divide r3 by r1 what do i get if i divide r3 by r1 i get k 0 0.30 divided by 0 0.15 is equal to 2.4 by your r1 k 0.15 and 0.15 Please try to mention the coefficients. This is p coefficient. This is your q coefficient divided by 0 0.6. Now this and this gets cancelled. Q one. So here again, what do we get? Two and this is twice, isn't it? Now two raised to the power of p is equal to when I cancel this, what answer do I get? I get four times. So I can write this as two p as two square basis are common so what is p value p value is 2 
I got P value as 2, Q value as 2, 1. Done. Now substitute. Now I'm coming close because I have to calculate rate constant. Start with the third step. So K is equal to, okay, rate is equal to K into NO. How much is the coefficient now? This is okay. This is P and this is your CL. Q isn't it? Now write that P value here and Q value here. Here. K, NO. P, I've got it as 2. CL, I've got it as 1. Now I have to find out K. So come out, take it out and write R, NO, square by CL, 1. Now what is the rate or the time uh, given what uh, is the reason? See one minute that is your 60 seconds. 60 divided by how much is NO concentration? NO concentration is 0.15 whole square by CL concentration is 0.151. When I solve this I get an answer of 17 uh yeah, yeah i almost yes 177.77 right so now this is your mole per liter mole per liter write the unit combine both you get a new answer of mole inverse 2 liter inverse 2 minute okay they've given this is because already minute my average minute done now i've got the rate constant now i have to show the disappearance of uh cl now how should i do that last one Observe carefully. When you are doing the disappearance of CL, now simple, R is equal to K into your NO. Already I know the coefficient. Here also I know the coefficient. Rate constant value you have got R is equal to 177.77 into what is your NO value here at this particular point because experiment 4 they said write that. 0.25 whole square into 0.25. When you solve this, you get an answer of 2.78 molar per minute. Units. So, I have used this unit. Mole per liter, mole per liter, that is your molar, I have written, and your minute. <coughs> but because they have asked me rate of disappearance, isn't it? So, per minute, I have written. This is your whole sum. Please go through it carefully and note it. Basically, your tabulated column numericals, very important to solve in steps.